Welcome to the worst of the SNES Quest. Stanley Cup, NHL Stanley Cup. Motion sickness warning. I don't know why. I probably have seen it before though, we'll see. So, yeah. Is the Stanley Cup really the oldest trophy we have? There's some trivia here, that's neat, yeah. Sports fans. Here's some hockey rules for you. Look at the way they wrote the text, what's wrong with them? What did they do this for? This is called stacking. This is when you stack text. It's a Graphic Design 101, your teacher will say, never do this. Under any circumstance, never stack text. Turn it sideways, that's better. Rotate it, whatever, don't stack text. It looks terrible, it's hard to read, it's bad. Stacking paragraph of text like this. Like maybe if it were like three words or something, but not the entire freaking manual. I'm not actually gonna read this. I know the basics of hockey. I don't know exactly what these terms here are, but I don't think I care. I don't think I need to know. Yeah, maybe it's because they translated it from Japanese and they stack text there at a different, like it's a completely different thing if you're talking about a different language. I'm talking about English. But that's probably why they did it. They probably did do it so that they could just quickly convert it. How long does it take to just rewrite a paragraph though? <laughs> it would take much longer to translate it. E button to poke. Stick check. Switch to defender nearest to fuck with the A button. X button to hip check. Y button to shoulder check. R to bring up goalie switch. Line change on L. And then over on the other side we have offense, which I guess means I have control of the puck. Dump the puck. Two different kinds of shots. I feel like I've seen Proton John play this game, and he's so good at it that he has measured to the pixel where he needs to shoot to get a goal every time. And that's all he does over and over again until he wins. If that's this game. Penalties off. Instant replay. Anyway, you can you can see the mode seven in these screenshots. I'll give him credit. This manual's pretty good. This text is uh, much more formatted. Looks way better. It's a little hard to read behind the picture back there, but it looks all right. And they got um, they got good images in the manual. You can actually see what they are. Very exciting. It's not, it's not a picture of a phone taking a picture of a print out of a recording of a screen or whatever the hell they do to get those lousy quality ones. And if you ever want to be a referee, you can just look at these notes here for your test. Here's a lesson on what icing is.
I don't really get it. Like, I don't really care about this rule. But it's going to be a thing that's going to happen. I guess it's when you just hit the puck too far from the center. You hit it past the line in the back. Like, you just hit it way too far. There's so many conditionals on it, too. Like, how many players on the field or whatever. It fake a slap shot. It seems like a very complete kind of game. Flashing warning as well as motion sickness warning for the sicko intro of all the sports game on this nest. penalties. Minimum like game. <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll be my hometown here. My eyes aren't even good enough to watch this sport. Like, I'm not really into sports. I, I like to play them. I don't like to watch them at all. I never did. But when I tried to watch hockey, I dated somebody who was really into it, and I couldn't even see the puck. Like, I couldn't do any... It just was impossible for me to even try to watch it. I gotta figure out what the buttons are here. I read them. Oh, man. I got clobbered. <laughs> Jeez. Nice hit. If they had just not done this with the camera, this game would be alright, probably. It's got so many features. Got his ass. Yeah, maybe if I was watching it on a higher res TV, because that was back in the 480p days, you know, the DVD quality or worse. Uh, pretty low res. Maybe I could watch it with my big TV if I wanted to. Whoa! I'm not sure how to win the, the start. Get his ass. I don't feel like the goalie should have gone after that one. <laughs> what are you doing, man? It's the post. That guy's going to be fired for missing an empty goal shot. Oh, no. I don't know how to, like, do better at shooting the puck at the goal. All I'm doing is hoping the goalie doesn't catch it, because I can hit it towards the goal. Yeah.
Hey. That's rude. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're outside. See, that's the thing that annoys me with hockey games is when I turn off penalties, they still find one. They still find one they're allowed to call on me. effort went into this well everything really you can feel the effort they just kind of misplaced it a little bit i think with the camera it's not the worst i've seen though numbers and i got three sog on 55 what do you think about that Okay, that's just a timing game. That's what I thought, but I couldn't win it. I was wondering if I was doing anything right. The computer's just really good at it. Well, I would say that I understand how to play this then, I guess, for the most part. I just don't know how you play it well. What do you mean offside? <laughs> Get out of here. What the? No, I clobbered him. Yeah, that's right. He's off sides. <laughs> what does he mean? I fainted the uh, slap shot, you see. Oh, damn. Even if it looks and plays okay, it's still less fun than, like, Blades of Steel at the end of the day to me. So far away. Yo! I tricked the goalie into, for some reason, running around his net like an absolute doofus. I would never forgive him for that if I were on his team. I would roast him for the rest of his life if he just decided to roll around the back of the net and leave it wide open like that. bullied. Okay, I just, <laughs> I just shut it back in there out somehow. Is that the worst team in the game, the Mighty Ducks? I wouldn't know anything about it. It might just be Pittsburgh bias, like it is for the Steelers. But, um, I'm to understand that this team I'm on is pretty good. Thanks for the sub.
man, four SOG. Wow. How is it that I have... I guess it's just for the period. Okay, yeah. Because I have three goals. They allowed one goal. It's out of six shots on goal. Let in one goals out of 11 shots. With a score of three, two, one. And the only Mighty Ducks I know were Coach Bombay's kids. I don't know anything about hockey. Like both of those movies, though. Hits the post, damn. This game seems like it's easier if you don't really play it and you just keep blasting the puck towards the goal at all times. Like, don't pass. Just blast it. It always is good. No matter how far away you are, it's, it goes up in the air and they can't really deal with it. Maybe this doesn't work on humans as well, but, um... I can ditch that thing and likely get a goal at all times, no matter where I am on the field. Oh. This <laughs> is ridiculous. <laughs> Everybody's dead. It's fine. Sides. Damn. Just barely, I guess. Is that game? I think there's only three periods in hockey, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Hey. Eight to one. And the only gold I got was one of my own on myself. Is that good that you got shot on 32 times?
It's <laughs> shots on go. 14. Number 25 bringing the heat. Pittsburgh has a bird sanctuary with some penguins in it, so does that count? Just one last mist for the road here. I don't know how long they've been there. I think that's it. For this game, I guess I'm ready. I've played it. I don't think I'm going to learn anything from playing it more, honestly. We can get rid of this warning now. Honestly, it's, um, it's got some ideas. It doesn't... It's not missing for features. It's got lots of them. It's tried some 3D stuff that doesn't really work very well, but... Stage design is inapplicable, I would say. Let me copy-paste this. I don't know how many sports games I even have in this list. Probably not very many at all. Um, that'll change at some point, probably. Controls are fine. They're a little better than usual because, like I said, kind of feature-heavy game. Um, I'm not sure what to put for appearance because the appearance is what makes people sick, but it's also a selling point that probably works for it. It actually does okay. I think three stars across the board is probably acceptable for this. I might drop one on music because it's not like... super good, but it's, it's not bad. A lot of hockey games tend to not want music to play while they pull the games on. It's just hockey music. I don't I don't feel like I should give it a bad score. It's what it's supposed to be. Fascinating? Eh, I think that's where we start to not care too much about it. It's just like a forgettable sports game. The only thing about it that's interesting is the camera, really. Approachable, sure. Difficulty is lower than usual. I would say it's one of the easier sports games I've ever played. Honestly, I'm going to give it a one. <laughs> I know I had a good team versus a bad team, possibly, but even so, I feel like there's not much to this. Yeah, I probably should bump it up just one, but I don't think I'm going to give it much more than that. I think this is it for this game. Um, it's better than Jam It, the only other sports game I can think of on the list. It's probably better than Power Pigs and Musha. I don't know that I would say it's better than Super Star Wars 3. I guess Nickelodeon Guts and American Gladiators are sports games of a sort. I 
really gave Guts a lot of credit here, didn't I? I thought it was neat. Functional versus game. It might need to be a little bit worse on the list, though. It probably is worse than Super Star Wars, but I think it is better than this game. I think this is work. Things go. King Arthur's World is a really boring game. That's probably why I thought Guts was better. I'm trying to remember my reasoning here. But if that's the case, why is King Arthur's World above Super Star Wars? It's a Lemmings sort of game. Which I'm kind of biased against, I guess. I think I'll leave it this way. Contra 3 wasn't submitted, I just was playing it and decided to rate it real quick. Speaking of which, I just ran through these. Let's give them a go. Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. Diddy's Conquest. I not only ran through them, but truly mastered them. Um, they both did a lot of stuff. I think they're off the charts on Unique Ideas, to be honest. They're both... Whether they're gimmicky ideas or not, they're both loaded with new stuff. Um, stage design... Mostly good on both of them. There's a couple levels that I think suck. They're not the, the common thing, though. Most of the levels are good. I like most of them. There's just a couple levels that just aren't there. They just aren't there for quality. Controls are fine. They're they're not perfect, but they're good enough. I'd say they're better in the second one because of Dixie. Would I say they're perfect? Five stars? I, I probably would, actually. With Dixie, I think I would. I can do a lot of stuff with her that I don't really have any trouble with. Um, of course they both look great. That was a huge selling point, the sprite art being 3D stuff. The sound kicks ass in both games. The music is David Wise. I I want to say I like the first game's music better than the second, but there's a couple bangers in the second one that really bring it home, even though I don't really care for every song. Um, they're both pretty up there in fascination and um, approachable. I don't know about that. Three is fine for that. Four difficulties probably where we're sitting with those. I'd say the first one's probably the harder game. Uh, there's a couple stages in the second one that are brutal, but I don't think anything's as hard as the minecarts, fear factory, poison lake stuff from the first game. The bad levels in the last world of DKC one are worse than anything I can think of in DKC two, even wispy woods. I think I'm gonna leave it that way.
Okay. These games are... I gotta compare them to Contra. Contra 3 or Donkey Kong Country. Saying DKC2 is better by a little bit. Actually, I'd say DKC1 suffers from stage design some. I'm gonna take it down a little bit. DKC2 suffers less. The bad stages in DKC1, there's just too many of them. I can think of like 15 stages that I would change. And for DKC2, I would only change five or six. And the final boss, I would change. Not the final, final boss, but the regular final boss. I would change him. It's really hard for me to decide if I like Contra 3. I personally like Contra 3 better than both of these. I think. But there's so much more content in both of these games than in Contra 3. Two-player mode is way better in Contra 3, though. Like, if you have two people playing, DKC is okay. It's... It's an interesting way to do co-op. But Contra 3 is uh, all the way through two players the whole time. I think that even at this point in time, I've still played Donkey Kong Country more than Contra 3. Which is a mean game. It does some stupid stuff that I can't really forgive, like not letting you finish the game on an easy mode. And it's just kind of rude sometimes, as Contra likes to be. I think because of that, I'm going to leave it in the order it is. Scientifically, right now, Donkey Kong Country 2 is the least bad of 80 games. Not the best game, the least bad of 80 games. Or, the best game out of 8 good games. <laughs> I'm good with that. I think I'm going to keep it that way. It's really hard to compare games that are totally different. But they're really good. Like, they both do completely different things extremely well. Contra 3 is exactly what it wants to be. The things I would change in Contra are mostly... I would remove a couple cheap shots, and I would let you win on easy mode. I would give you more lives. Uh, you have the Contra code though, I assume. I don't know that I've ever used it, but I assume you do. Which would throw that problem out the window. It's the kind of game you play until you're really mastered it, and then the difficulty doesn't bother you anymore. 